Today in the show, we're going to be talking about the history of Evan Sabanur, Kid Apocalypse or Genesis. If you didn't know at one point he aged into a fully grown apocalypse, then this show is for you. So Evan's actually a fairly new character who would first appear in Uncanny X-Force number 7 in 2011. So his introduction was a little bit trippy. There was originally another child apocalypse who would be killed. Phantom X would then gather some of the child apocalypse blood, plant that blood into a scientific facility that had been shrunken down to the size of a palm of a hand, and in that scientific facility, this child apocalypse would be cloned and would be guarded by Ultimon and would be artificially aged to the age of about, you know, 11, 12, 13, pre-teens or sort of early teens. In this life simulation, he was raised as a boy called Evan, who was actually a hero. This was done because with Apocalypse dead, someone was going to replace him. And this happened to be the horseman of death, Archangel. And Archangel needed to be stopped. So this is when Evan was released. He was actually able to fight alongside the X-Men and allow Psylocke to use the Seed of Life to save the entire world. After this, he would start going to the Jean Grey school, but the issue is he looked exactly like Apocalypse. None of the other kids accepted him, which is kind of ironic because they're mutants and for the most part, they weren't accepted by society. But that's a whole other thing that we're gonna get into because these kids saw Apocalypse and they were afraid of this kid and they just wouldn't accept him. Deathlock would actually see that in Evan's future, he would become either the savior of all of mutant kind or their demise. There would be like no in between, but his fate rested entirely on Wolverine's shoulders. If you want to know what Evan's personality was like, he really had a hard time understanding how people worked. For example, one time for a biology lesson, the entire class was shrunk and they went inside Toad's body and Evan would actually see some DNA and he'd be like, okay, that's what makes up a person. That is everything Toad is, just DNA. And Beast was actually like, actually there's far more to a person than their DNA. There's far more to them than their genes. Evan really didn't understand this concept. He didn't really understand the concept of personalities and actions and consequences. And he felt like life was a lot more simple before he came to the Jean Grey school. Eventually, Evan goes to a mutant called Warren and he would say to Warren, I know your ability is to see the essence of others. Am I anything like Apocalypse? And Warren is like, no, you're nothing like Apocalypse. You've only got goodness inside of you. Eventually the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants would capture Evan and they would decide that they want to brainwash Evan so he would become their very own Apocalypse, which obviously is a little bit messed up and they would do this by driving Evan to a gas station and they would say to him, either you've got to kill Sabretooth or let him kill everyone in this gas station. And Evan would obviously try doing the good thing, trying to stop Sabretooth without allowing him to kill everyone in the gas station, but he was unsuccessful. So a whole mess of things would happen, but all you need to take note of is Evan and Deadpool join forces and save the day. 2014 would come about, and in that year, there was an event called Axis. Now in this storyline, Evan is actually kidnapped and sent to Genosha. And in Genosha, there's actually a scene where Doctor Doom and Scarlet Witch are using chaos and order magic to turn Red Skull into Professor Xavier. Due to the energy that bled out while they were doing this spell, Evan actually ages into a fully grown apocalypse. But another side effect of this spell is that everyone that was present in Genosha went through a morality change, meaning everyone that was good became bad and everyone that was bad became good, Deadpool became Zenpool, it was a whole thing. Then at the end of the storyline, Evan actually goes into hiding at Deadpool's Queen's safe house. He did, however, become good again before this point, which was a very major part of the storyline. It was kind of a waste to make him go into hiding. He's gonna be involved in the Apocalypse War storyline, which I'm just excited to see Evan because after he went into hiding, I was like, oh, that's it. <laughs> I really do hope that at the end of the storyline, we get to see Evan progress into something we have never seen before because I do think the idea of his character is brilliant and I would love to see him just become something higher than the clone of Apocalypse, something beyond mutants, beyond humans, beyond inhumans, something we've never seen in the Marvel Universe before. It's super effective! Okay guys, that is it for today. So what do you think of Evan? Please let me in the comments down below. And also don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe because it really does help a lot just 
press that subscribe button. And also don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel while you're at it where I play dating sims and I'm about to start a Zelda Let's Play or I've already started it, one of the two. And also don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. My name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics and it is super effective. No, but it's like really unfair. Like when you have a character like this, it's the same with X-23. They create this brilliant character, they build them up all the time and then they just become oh my god, they're a clone of so-and-so. Let's always relate them back to so-and-so. No, allow them to grow beyond that. Yeah, everyone's got an origin, and yeah, sometimes people are cloned, but they need to become their own thing. Like, just have a bit of originality, because everyone becomes their own person eventually. It even happens with the children of famous characters. Like, we all know that Wiccan and Speed are always going to be related back to Scarlet Witch now, no matter what. I actually want them to be related back to Scarlet Witch a little bit more because they're not being related back enough, but it's a whole thing where these characters are never going to grow beyond being the children of Scarlet Witch, and it sucks so much because they're their own characters, and they're really good characters on their own, and it's just not fair.